Okay. We are driving a Yokozuna with a Skinner and a Porcupine and a Yang Wang pointing backwards. Yes, it's going to be fun. We're going to pull some people around, but it also works pretty well just driving backwards. Um, it's, I think, I think it's pretty, pretty good looking. And uh, I don't know, what do you folks think? I've got the chat up here in case you want to uh, chime in. I'm happy to talk to you. Uh, happy to answer any questions or do anything. Oh, looks like they've upset me now. All right, so we're gonna have to try to get this bot here. Let's see. All right. Now, hey, don't do that. Let's, let's see. Okay. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. And then we do this. A little closer than I would have liked. But they don't like that, for sure. And we got a lot of hit points on the front, so... Oh, wow, they are taking me out. Yeah, okay, well. So, let's break this down. Alright, so we've got... Um, you know, I always like to take the paint off so you can kind of see what's going on. Alright, so... The Scorched, these are fire starter parts. Light, you have to kind of mix some light and heavy parts to get to the maximum amount of armor. Can't use all Steppenwolves. I like these APC rears and these large assembly sections. Essentially, we're using all the highest power score parts that I have all kind of stacked on top of a frame. And in the front, the new Gesson, which is a uh, Gesson, is a pretty cool piece from the Syndicate and uh nice new front of course you got a train plow up there just for fun and real heavy bumpers a vial that has damage pass through kind of shields your radar a little bit these big heavy fenders and apc roofs on the side then you got your skinner and kind of hidden behind one of these screeners a screener laid flat because the yong wang can shoot over the top of it and then uh, a large thorn here to keep the porcupine from uh, losing uh, its spark and then we've got another screener here and spikes and I added a small APC panel because I had a little spot where the Skinner was so we'll kind of move backwards here and we have a lot of Omni wheels we've got four of them fused as a part of the um, part of the syndicate event and then I have another six of them that I manufactured so I don't know pretty fun I like the pack uh, container wall, not packed, the uh, event. And then we've got this uh, rear section here and uh, some buggy floors. These are kind of high structure parts. They've got the damage pass through, as you well know. And so then Porcupine, or Yong Wang, I'm in a fixed position, so it just fires backwards and you can kind of look around freely. Uh, the Colossus there protecting the, the weapon and the Apollo down below. I've also got some armor underneath, some heavy stuff, uh, just to kind of keep the center of gravity low. An ammo pack, fused uh, radio, the Apollo, of course, and then, uh, so then our little Ruby radar. You can put a bigger radar on here, obviously. Uh, with this cab, it's nice to have that just four space, or a four space wide under underneath the cab you can't fit uh, the Apollo dr directly under the cab but with this kind of a build it's not really needed so I don't know I think that worked pretty well you know you could put tracks or whatever on this I just basically made a big space out of all of my most powerful frames so I've got these 560 durability frames splitting left and right side of the front chassis and these two other 8x4 lightweight frames uh, splitting the back half of the chassis and that's the lunatics are really cool for those parts uh, these are just kind of uh, extra filler pieces just to connect. Uh, they're only 280 durability, but uh, and then I've used all my six um, my six by four frames. I have six total six by four frames, and these are all 420 durability. And then that's hooked onto the Skinner in the back. And I tried a couple different places. I tried putting it on top. It gets shot off easier, um, you know. And I'm not an expert at driving this thing, so. Uh, I think it's it'd be really fun to see what somebody that's really good at that kind of build could do with it. 
so yeah, so that's what I have here, and uh, it just kind of holds it all together. All right, so let's give it a try uh, and see if we can't do okay at a battle. And then we're going to do another build. We're going to kind of keep these videos shorter. We're going to do just one or two battles with each build and then kind of move on so that that way it's a little more snackable and uh yeah so i appreciate you joining in and i can i uh, thank you for being on the chat there so i appreciate it can the spawn here it might take a little bit of a minute probably should uh just respond to this chat thank you Appreciate you watching, folks. Okay. So, a little test drives in order. So, the idea is... You know, drive past somebody, hook them at kind of long range, and then pull them and shoot them. Okay, then, once you're pulling them, you shoot them with... Seems like they're a little too high for me. Should have hit them harder. Not working too great. Okay, well, cut them loose. Take a couple hovers off this thing. I'll use my speed drone. Yeah, don't like it. Not playing good in this build so far. <laughs> but what the heck. Quite long wait times. This high PS. It's pretty slow. So it gets up to speed. All right. It's going to be fun. No cloak on this thing, so I'm just going to go in. Go in with the bots. Straight into the fire. Oh. Okay, Samantha. You're getting the you're getting the drone. I don't want to lock that guy. You just keep driving around and just drop porcupines, that's fine. I can, I can do that. That's you know, gotta sneak up on somebody if you wanna. We'll look at somebody. Oh, those those things. That's not great. Can we run into them? I don't know that ever followed the drones. Yeah. Yeah, but we can't get you. Come on. No cap can. Nope.
Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, wow, that is really fun. That caused some chaos for sure. So there's that. Now let's see what else do I have. I think we're going to build something for you now. So I think just starting from scratch, let's make something a little bit smaller, not so ginormous. Still going to use my same... Same frames, or you know what? Maybe we'll just go this wide. Maybe we won't use the the giant generator, the Apollo. Let's use something different. Uh, let's see here. So we're gonna need some more of these. All right. Okay, don't need that. And then we'll put our longer frames here. truck and it's still pretty wide but not quite as wide as that other one and we'll put our Yokozuna cab there okay so what weapon do we want to use on this I think we could I think we could tr try that same weapon configuration again but just do it a little bit differently so um, I'm gonna need a gun mount and I'm gonna need the. I think let's go on Bigfoot's. And, uh. Yeah, that's. That's what we'll do. Let's put it on all. St well, I wonder if we could just do it on six Bigfoot's. Maybe it doesn't need to be that long. What does our tonnage do with just six? Let's just see what weapons we have on here before we do, do the whole thing, but I think you're going to need quite a few. I think the oppressor might be a good engine for this version of the build. Uh, yeah, you, I mean, you get most of your tonnage there, and you don't really need... You could shorten this with a couple... Oh, you don't have any more... Uh, the other, the other option is just to go all steering. Oh, oh I see. I got the wrong thing. What is this? Regular ones. I don't know what those. Okay. Once it gets rolling gonna be a hard train to stop okay so that gives me almost all my tonnage it's gonna be hard to tell until you start really loading this thing up but uh, you can I'm gonna go ahead and put the oppressor on and see if that actually yeah it gives me all the way so I think that that's good nice and maneuverable let's see here yeah do your drone fast 90 kph 91 yeah 92 I think it could even got a little higher if I started the drone a little later interesting okay well that'll be fun so we want to pull someone and we want to hit them with grenades so we could go down pretty far under Let's let's put a gun mount somewhere really strong. Let's move this for just a second. Okay. 
we do need that space under to hold our ammo pack for sure. So we could try sneaking the whole thing back together, but then we lose our space under the cab, and I think that's just a, a good spot. Ammo box doesn't seem to blow up there. And, oh, actually, you know what? Even we're going to put our generator there. So we're going to need a spot for ammo boxes. So. All right. I think that works. And then, let's see. It's going to be give you more attachment points. So we're going to put our ammo box in. That's uh, not an ammo box, but this is. Okay. Um, or... Try. Let me put this in the in this little spot right here for just right now, because I want to really make sure that we think through how we're mounting this gun. I don't think that's gonna connect. I think we're gonna have at least two two gun mounts in order to have the Yang Wang underhang. Is that weird? All right. Okay, and I don't want it to spin around, so I need to mount something under there that's going to give me, I could go one higher with it. Maybe it won't spin then. Okay, let's see, does it spin? does not okay there we go that means this is gonna have to open up for sure well actually possibly not well it's firing that's good i like that okay so that'll cause some problems problems with people's gas gens and then we just want to put the porcupine on the top like that and that should go like that and Okay, perfect. All right. So what else do we have? That's all of our energy. Um, so there's no, no spike or anything on this. But it's still going to be pretty fun. Protect that porcupine a little bit. This ammo pack, I don't like where that is. I wonder if it could go here. This could go up one higher. That looks good. This could go lower too. Let's see here. Come on. It's probably a little better to attach some stuff to. All right, so we've used up our energy. We need a radio and a radar so that when we armor this thing up, we're not slightly under. It's always ridiculous. Put this um, just up there for now. All right. That seems pretty good. How's it do? Oh, let's just set this to right click. I like this on right click anyway. It's a huge truck running around the field, throwing fire backwards. And it's going to be a little bit harder without the tracks, I think. I might try a version of this with tracks too, because uh, I'm worried about not being able to back up fast enough. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, well, that's fine. Oh, boy. Yeah, didn't have any armor on, but that was fun. All right. So, I think it works pretty well. It functions. So, what do we want to do for our armor? Well, let's go by power score. I think that this is appropriate for this build. Got to have something else going really wide there. This, yeah, I, I like that. And so we have this Mimpo facing forward. Um, 
That's not a bumper part, though. Maybe we do that up here. And we, we could do this. Kind of like that. This piece is 106, 108. Yeah, but it's not really attached to anything. So let's, let's move this and try that. That's kind of nice. deal with that. I don't know. There's a lot of different options. This is probably going to end up back here. And so is this, probably. I don't want to make it that high, though. Uh, okay, so that works for now. we got to cover the other side of the part, so... Need something pretty strong. These screeners... Oh my goodness, okay. I think that that's appropriate. That those front wheels are going to be the difference between steering terribly and not. So giving some layers of stuff to fall off there. Even some more spikes on the outriggers. Since you are basically going to have to drive through things. I think that's pretty good. All right, so I even go under with some spikes. Let's see, what other spikes do we have? These are too tall. We run a bumper spike under there. Well, you have mean to do some harm with that. All right, so then just something light on the back, pull bars probably. Okay. Oh, I put him on the front already. Aha! Ha, ha. The Harate. There we go. Now it's attached to a couple of things. I'm gonna probably put I'm gonna put a something under it to protect it. Extra connection so that it doesn't get shot off. Might change my mind later, but at least that's something. Alright, now we've got to keep armor in this thing up. It's kinda cool looking at the front. I like it spiky. Need some high spikes too. So maybe we'll put some. Gotta do the back armor too. Blade wings. Okay, those are good. So I think just doesn't stick out very far, but just kinda oh, kinda ears. It's interesting. Alright. Um twin blade wings we have too. That's nasty. Okay. So for the back, we could do Let's go back to power score. I think two of those, one of these. Let's see here. Oh, that's not going to work there, huh? Mm-hmm. But... Hmm. Let's put that up here for now. Can't go there, but it could go there. And... That blocks it, but if we go one higher, nice. 
Nice. Okay, so we need to come up with something. Yeah. Okay, so we want to just basically protect these this way. Come on now. Why is it not? Okay. Am I crazy here? Oh, what the heck? Okay, it mounts there, but not under? What? What business? Alright, well. Gotta kind of do that then. And. Maybe this. I don't know. This might hang down too far, but we'll see. Nope. Hangs down too far. So we maybe go swing this out a little wider. And let's take a look at the APC, the line of defense. Sentry line. I think that'd be nice. Let's see here. Does it block the fire? Yes, it does. But sometimes uh, it blocks the other fire. All right. Not gonna get away with magic there, but there is a bumper for us. I know it. Sometimes you can get things to work kind of. Surprisingly, with the half, with the hang, the pole position maybe. Block in the top, but now it's blocking the bottom. Okay, not getting away with one on this. I'm gonna have to get something narrow. Let's see here. Frontal protection system, huh? It's the best I've got, apparently. But, it's better than nothing, and we can always make some breakaway spikes in our build a little bit farther in. So, we can do something like that. We'll see exactly where I place things, but... Oh, I can't. Oh, I see. That's not... Ah. Uh, well, that can stick out farther. Farther's better, I think. So, this would go like that. Yeah. But we'll see. Um, Alright. So, we got to get our big heavy panels on. Hmm. This is interior armor here. Good place for truck doors. Just, yep, we're going to cover that up. Looks good. Alright. Okay. Good. Alright, what else do we have? It's heavy. Um... Container walls, yeah. Bring on the container walls. Okay, those are going to have to move. That's okay. Just leave one there, and we'll figure that out in a minute. Yeah, that's okay with me. And then... Double that up with APC roof parts. This is going to have to go... I wonder if we can get... There's nothing eight wide. Maybe I might have to play around with a couple other options here. I guess, it, you know, let's, it's okay. This is going to interlace, so that'll be okay. Maybe two squares. Yeah, and we could do... Probably need to put some bumpers or something on the end of this. Won't work that way. But we can use... Layers, perhaps. Let's see. Yeah, they fire. All right, there we go. So I'm kind of just making it work. All right, so now. 
PC panels. And when we get up here, it does not hurt to have that attached to the cab and be spaced armor. So let's start at the back again. For engine gets shot off, you know, not the end of the world. It's not the best idea, but. Okay. Can you make it through that? Okay, what do we want to do here? We want this to kind of look a little polished somewhere. This might maybe be a second. I don't know if we want to go quite too high. It's pretty tall. Artificially tall, I think. Uh, might want to let's just put this up here for a minute. It's not, I'm going to put it actually to cover this back here. Okay, well that's starting to come together. I'm just gonna make a big lump here. And I can throw some No, I'm gonna use APC parts. Let's just look any other super high power score stuff I want. Yeah, I know what to look for. Alright. APC side parts. No parts left in storage. Okay. And then something for these. So let's. That's, that's going to be pretty strong, I think. Looks pretty good. I like that. Hmm. Yeah. I could, could take that. Okay. So then. These are nice for extra protection in certain areas. We really want that to be attached to the cabin. Maybe we want to do this with it. Uh, it doesn't do that. Okay, let's go that way. I'm just kind of interlace everything together, help protect our generator there, which we probably don't have enough room to fit one of these in, do we? I'll stick down too much. It doesn't go in there. Okay. But we can put... We have some bigger sides that probably will fit real nice in there. Maybe run out of parts and decide to pull that, but we'll start with that. Alright. So now... Uh, put that over there and over there. Maybe we'll put some more back at the back corners. They fit? No, not really. Okay. Well, we could put um. Do that. It's attached to the. Is it attached to the ground? Yeah. There we go. All right. Kind of made up fenders. Ooh, speaking of fenders, I wonder if we can get some of our wonderful fenders on here. Not going to fit on the front, maybe on the back. Yep. People will be shooting at the back for sure. Can you double fender them? No. Oh, we're going to run out. Okay. I don't even know about these fenders. We might not even be able to afford those. Okay, so... Ooh, we're almost out of pieces, too. Okay, so let's see here. So we don't... Let's get rid of that. And... I think this radio is going to go... Here... And three parts left. So I want to get stuff that's really going to help keep everything together.
Come on now. It's not working? Hmm. Not quite low enough. Let's move this here for a second. Just see what's really happening. It could fit there. <laughs> it's not pretty, but do the job. All right, what else we have here? I'll put these assembly sections. Can these be attached to this somehow? Not to both. Let's see here. Like that. I'm just gonna put it up front. Put it with the cab. All right, one more piece. Train plow. It's gonna be way overweight, right? Oh yeah. Okay, so. There we go. All right. Oh, that is really ugly. Okay, we gotta put something else there. Sure. Fine. Oh, uh, I wish I had two little pieces for these little side parts, though. Let's take a look here. A little more armor on. Okay. Thanks for the note in the chat. Sorry, I was involved in building it. Pay attention to it. <laughs> Alright, well that looks like that's it for this, so let's give it a try with some corporate style paint and give it a final shakedown test drive. Mm hmm. Let's get up to speed here, see how fast we can get going. Okay, high gear. before I hit a wall <laughs> okay well it'll be interesting for sure not being able to back up is not going to be my favorite After that build was pretty fast but we can go we can go pretty good just okay yep, we're in India and choo -choo. Battle bots. Yep. I'm going to ignore you. Flip you over. And then we'll shoot you. We'll shoot you again. Okay, that's fine. Alright. 
I think we're I think we're good here. So let's go ahead and give this a drive. Thanks for watching. It's pretty pretty cool looking actually. <laughs> okay. Hello bots. Okay, Dan. Dan, you get the drone. Get him, Dan. Go get him. I'm with you. Hey, look, it's me. I'm coming. Oh, no, not gonna come. But I am gonna do this. Nope, 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 nope. Uh oh, uh oh. Turn it, Orlando. Yep, yep, I did that. I still have 2400 durability left and my weapons. <laughs> okay, chase me. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll just run right over you. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. Alright, buddy. You want my drone again? Go get him. Uh oh. Somebody's coming. Go ahead, chase me. Going down. Going down. <laughs> but we sure did some havoc. That was fun. pretty fun pretty fun build I'd, I'm gonna get better with it for sure but what I'm gonna try here before the end of our stream is I'm gonna try putting it on small tracks and see how it does a few little modifications we'll have to make but it's gonna be pretty fun Get him sub 15 FPS. It's a fast car. Griffin on Hermits. Okay. 
Well, that was fun. All right, so let's call this Okay. And let's just try throwing some tracks on it. A couple things. Paint it. And I want it to go fast, so it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. That isn't gonna happen. That's gonna go too. Okay. Okay, let's try this side. It's not too hard of a conversion. small tracks? Ooh, I do. Does it need any more? I don't think it does. Okay. But what would happen if I gave this the Colossus? tracks, but that wouldn't necessarily be bad. We have some more tonnage. Alright, so let's lose those. And let's go Let's go like this. Throw two more tracks on there and then see how much more do we need. Ooh, do we have any more tracks? No more. So I think that's the max tracks we got. So let's just do that, and then we'll just do... still fire. Yep, okay. And so then we want some big bumper types on the back. Maybe we'll use those roll bars there. Let's try that. Stuff. And then, let's see here. It's just something to protect the back tracks. Oh, part limit, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford that. Alright. So, still go there. Bad use. But I would like to have some stronger. I think the screeners instead of these. I'll figure out a way to mount them. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, overweight. Goodness. Yeah, you need some more tracks. All right. Well. The heck, you know, let's just try. Let's get two more tracks. Okay. All right. So we know we're going to want those in a minute. 
do this. Oh, parts limit. Yeah, that's true. I see. Okay, well, maybe we need to use... Some heavy frames back there. Mm. Let's see what we've got. This part is going to get burned to a crisp. Let's just put two big heavy frames out there. Sacrificial. And... Uh, Okay, hold on a second. Put those. Oh boy, wow, this is getting really long here. I don't know how it's going to turn very well, but we could see. You know what I could do is just lay these like this. It's all kind of sacrificial anyway. Right? And I think I still want to put one frame there with a medium thorn on it. Oh, parts limit. That's plenty. All right. Yeah, medium thorns. There. Blades can go. So medium thorn is 40, 48. Hmm, maybe I'll put medium thorns there. And that's all my parts. All right, well. Didn't really get any more armor from that, but it did kind of extend this thing to epic proportions. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> what a pig. That's funny. It's okay though. All right, we'll give it a try. I think. Is there any other part that we don't really need? I'd love to get one more upper spike there. Don't say take the radio off. <laughs> have a protection at the business end there. It's hard to find a part to take off when you get to a build that's done like this. But that will work. Or I can do this. There. Stay out of there. Alright, let's give it some paint. Let's give it a try. Oh my goodness. Quick spawn there. Okay. There you go for the neighborhood hover.
Yikes. This is pretty fun. Uh oh, I don't want to be here, 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 all that. Yeah, I better get keep going here. You could chase me. Crazy things in Cross Out. Super fun. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I got Rhino. Hey, that's always good. That was really fun. All right. Well, we're certainly causing a lot of mayhem there. I don't know if it's any better than our other version with the wheels. But it's pretty hard to shoot off the weapon when it's way inside the build like that. And all those tracks have blast resistance, so... Oh boy, I don't want to get with that. Here you go, buddy. that do you still coming after me huh yeah you're not gonna really be able to do much against you I can go help my friends layer. I see you. I need my speed to come back. I have less tracks on one side. See, this is a really tough build. Ammo pack generator still intact. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you run into me. Go ahead. Nope. Oh, nope. What's this? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm gonna come after you. Going backwards now. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna tighten there, huh? Yeah, 
Where'd you go? There we go. Yeah. All right. All right, folks. Well, I think that's enough for tonight and for this week. But join me again Monday, 9 p.m. Pacific time. Check out the stream on demand on YouTube the next day. It's MJE30 on YouTube or MJE30 on Twitch. Um, feel free, if you like, to give me a uh, follow. That's really helpful because then I can get to uh, the next level. So, pretty fun. Um, I'm going to go take a screenshot now, and you are welcome to join me as usual. A little peaceful bit of reflection in the evening with our giant trucky truck here. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of fun. I don't know what angle you folks like. I'll try a couple of different options. Try spinning the truck too. Get that nice light. Spin it back just a little bit. The neon sign over it. Oh, thank you. Okay, yes, that was what I was doing. Screenshot. All right. I think we got it. So, anyway, I hope you have a good night and thank you so much. Bye.